Taking pictures from light polluted city skies is the sad truth for many astronomers out there. All we crave for is maybe one perfect night from a perfect location with perfect equipment. And now it is time for that dream to become reality. I was approached by the people from Telescope Live to use one of their telescopes for a session of deep sky imaging. This video is not sponsored, I am asked to make an honest review with no strings attached. That being said, they provided me with about 2 hours of free deep space imaging. The backyard astronomer might now think, only 2 hours? I'll need much more, maybe 5 hours to get a decent image of a nebula. Well, from my location that's true, but let's look at theirs. Right now, Telescope Live owns 9 telescopes on 3 continents, 4 in Chile, 3 in Spain and 2 in Australia. I chose the location in Spain, because the sky over there is much closer to what I'm used to. It's of course very tempting to use one of the scopes in Australia, but come on, what does the southern hemisphere have what we don't? <sighs> the telescope I chose is a 70cm reflector just by looking at the data sheet. <laughs> Let's take a look at how to use one of these telescopes. Well, here we are on the website from Telescope Live. And as you can see on the main background, I have no idea what this object is, but it definitely looks awesome. I'm already logged in with my account, so I just need to go to the dashboard and let's start. The things you can see right at the start, I have about 170 credits, the currency you need to image with the telescopes. I was in contact with Alex from Telescope Life and he supplied me with 150 credits and you get 20 at the start when registering the account. And I will use all of these 170 credits in one shot to get an hopefully insane image of a nebula. We can take a look at all the telescopes they have, we see down here in the telescopes in Australia maybe get more info about them, the images. So here we can see, is this a Mead? Yes, it's a Mead telescope, 14 inches, amazing. Apparently I can't use that right now, but I don't want to anyways. I want to use the observatories in Spain. They have three telescopes in Spain. They have two, I think, refractor telescopes with 10 centimeters, 100 millimeters aperture, but I want to image with a 70 centimeter reflector telescope. Let's take a look. Look at this beast. Depending on the telescope you spend more credits per minute, so this telescope takes 2.8 credits per minute and with the red imaging plan for each filter I'm gonna use the Hubble pellet. If I get the chance to do that I will. For the Hubble pellet they use 3 nanometer filters, I mean, you go for HA S203 of course, 300 second exposures, but that's all for later for the creation of the plan. And maybe the most important thing, the files that I will download later are all pre-calibrated. I could of course do that myself, but pre-calibrated, not registered files, super easy, why not do it? So I will be using this monster. Let's set up the plan to do that. Back at the main dashboard, you can see the recent requests up here. I've already set this one, let's take a look. At first we start at the target. The target I chose has, doesn't have an NGC, IC or Messier catalog number. It's LBN168 and I've entered some custom coordinates because I wanted to alter the image position quite a, uh, a tiny bit. And I've seen that the sensor of this camera is a square. A square sensor, always interesting. It, I had to choose these custom coordinates, so I will click continue. We could of course check the preview on how this, how big the object would be. I did that already, it looks great, but I will not show it right now, because it's still a big mystery. The telescopes I now can choose from, because of course the telescopes in the southern hemisphere won't image anything from Cygnus. I will go for Spain 2, 70 centimeters. continue. Now I can go in the observation mode, either astrophotography or advanced. I'm choosing astrophotography of course. With advanced you could 
enter everything custom as you want it. I'm going for HA as tuned 03, 300 second exposures, and with the credits I have, I can expose each channel 8 times 5 minutes, which is from that location probably overkill. But I will take this chance to get the best out of everything right here. You can see 340 credits, this will get less when I enter the next bit of information. Binning, the default was 2. The scope is very big and the camera has quite big pixel size, of course, for a big scope, big pixels. 2 is default, I'm used to binning 1. I don't know if the change will be that great, but I'm usually going for binning 1. The best resolution there is, maybe not the sharpness, but that can be edited in post. The whole session will take 2 hours and I will refocus after 1 hour. Continue. And then automated scheduling, when do you want to take these images and keep it in automatic so they can decide it. They don't even have a touch with that, I suppose these telescopes operate automatically, which is insane. And now the moon avoidance. Of course we are imaging in the Hubble palette, narrowband. The moon doesn't matter whatsoever. So I chose the simple moon constraints and the maximum illumination is 100%. I don't care about anything with the moon, just don't be too close to it. 40 degrees distance. As far as I know, the moon is. We have new moon right now, so in the next week it won't be any issue. And now I can click submit, and you see the credits. Original, the exposure time would count for 340 credits, and the discount for the moon, because I suppose way more people are imaging in RGB when the moon is not out, I get a discount when I image in narrowband. So I don't care about the moon, minus 170 credits, the maximum I can get out of this data. And when I click submit now, this request will be evaluated and hopefully I will get these images in about a week. I have said everything, I can click submit now. And now to the fun part, imaging. Of course, the feeling is not quite the same. This is an awesome opportunity, but I would prefer getting my own equipment out there under these dark skies and taking these images by myself. But since I can travel to Spain on a regular basis and definitely can afford a 70cm reflector, I will take this chance when I get it. Don't be afraid, Astro Addict will stay a backyard focused channel. I will try to improve my imaging every day and I will only stop when I image every last bit the cosmos has to offer. Stay tuned for part 2 of this video where I will edit the data from this monster telescope and reveal a hopefully good image. The target I chose is the Tulip Nebula in Cygnus. Stay tuned for part 2 and as for me, my name is Tim, I'm an astro addict, I wish you clear skies and may the night be with us.